<laughs> All right, is everyone on? You think we're ready to start here? Yeah. We've only, we've only got 125 people. I think you should wait for the rest of the show to join. <laughs> That's a two more? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna first we want to do a little test of the sound. Um, when I, you know, when I do a screen share later. So, ta -da. not that sound, thank you. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> no, th no three Stooges fans out there? Come on. Yeah, why is guy? No, no, no. No. All right. Does everyone see this right now? What I see? Big, big East. So far. Yeah, we see it. Okay. All right. Let me go back to Zoom settings. Oh, oh, someone's having fun here, I see. Who's the wise guy? Who's the wise guy? All right. I'll let you guys have fun while I uh, try to figure this out. <laughs> BTYA. But remember, this is the first talent competition. Who could make the the nicest things? Start now. Oh, no, no, put it. Wait. Make sure to remember your color. Can you get the? Uh... Our color is. Hey. Every time we don't have a different color. <laughs> All the people still. No, I don't want that. I want that. How do you do, um, chat? Oh, yeah, he wins. What's <laughs> that? Can you hear it now? Got it. Got it now. Yes, you hear the music? Yeah. Yeah, hear it now. Okay. Just just enjoying it a little bit. All right, so the music work now? Yeah. All right, excellent. Um let's now disable your ability to do that. Oh man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Trying to keep our attention. <laughs> that will be uh, part two, I guess, later. Okay. So we are ready for the first, hopefully not annual, virtual BTYA talent show. We are hoping that we'll be able to do live performances, Mikano Laba, hopefully with the Mashiach, the Kenu Meheru Amen. And um, we're now going to start with the, the talent show. We've got about 12 different acts to present now. The average one is one minute long. And once we're done, if anyone has an impromptu talent that they want to share on the spot, we are going to be open for that as well. And oh, oh I have to mute everyone. Hold on. I'm going to mute everyone. And then whoever's doing the act, I'm going to, invite, I'm going to unmute. So that person, if they want to make any comments about their particular performance, um, they're welcome to do that as well. So when Arya did the Havdalah, he had like assistants running things behind the yeah, scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> uh, this, is, this is a one-man one show here. All right, let's find, uh, stop share first of all, okay. <sighs> and now we're going to mute. I think I prefer to see everybody else instead of you actually. Thank, thank you very much. Arya, sure. so we're gonna, we're gonna block your screen also. No problem. <laughs> All right, let's see. Good morning. Hey, hey, there's exit, yes. Let's run. All right, I just, I just, just muted Arye. Uh, <laughs> can, you make that, can you make that permanent? <laughs> I, I see him laughing there. We can't hear it. But uh, all right, you're, you're unmuted, Arye. Uh, I said, <laughs> there's, themselves in the I meantime. said there's exit, yes. I'm leaving. Um, wow, okay, very good. All right, the first act. We are going to show, let's um, get over here. It's actually, it was, it was an unofficial entry. It was, uh, Svi German had sent something to the B2A group and um, he quickly deleted it. 
But fortunately, I was able to capture it just before he did that. It's only about a three second, three second clip, but we're gonna try that out as the first act as a, as a warm up for everyone. This is a uh, courtesy of the Germans. Everyone catch that? Should we do that one again? That was super. Did you guys hear the volume for that as well? Okay, yeah. excellent. All right, so that was submission one. I want to thank the German family. If the Germans are on, we're happy to take comments. Um, how many people are here to go through the whole list here? But if they are on, they're welcome to jump in and say something. Um, if not, we will go to the next submission. All right, next one on our list is Yitzchak Brat. Is he, is he on the line? If Yitzhak's on, please unmute yeah. yourself. Okay, do you want to say anything about your sushi making expertise? No. <laughs> All right, that's it. You know, sometimes, you know, amor ba'at say harbe, you know, uh, slight mistranslation, misquote there from Pirke Avos, but this is a man of few words, but big actions. How many people know how to make sushi? How many males know how to make sushi? And how many males who are not yet married know how to make sushi? So this is really a, a very big, a big thing. Can everyone see him now? Hold on, I'm gonna start again. Does everyone see Yitzhak? Um, someone want to unmute themselves, let me know. Yes. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, great. All yeah. right, here we go. This is a slideshow of Yitzhak making sushi. Yeah. Here we go. Ready, set, action. If I had time, I would have put some music in the background, but I apologize, I didn't have time for that. The main question, is this kosher le Pesach sushi? Yitzchak, can we eat this on Pesach? No. Oh. Kidneys. Oh, man. So they, they have Pesach pizza, they're supposed to make Pesach sushi also. All right, so I'm not going to volunteer anyone, but Amit Hashem, hopefully at the next live Chabura in the actual shul, we're going to invite the brats to serve some sushi so we could actually taste what our eyes are very excited about right now, and we're very much looking forward to that. All right, next we have Moshe Burt. Moshe Burt coming in here with a very special entry. Oh! This is, this is, oh, this is an audio recording. So let me see if I get a picture of him up here. Hold on to the screen. Um, do you guys see that picture of Moshe or no? Oh, I, I didn't share my whole screen. All right. You'll have to just imagine Moshe Bird in your heads for this one. And uh, this is a special, special recording in honor of Corona. And here we go. My, my, my corona, oh, the fun that's got is petrified, petrified. We all want to run and hide, run and hide. No more shaking hands and close the deal. Pumping elbows, is it for real? My, my, my corona. My, my corona, imported on the world by the Chinese. Got us all on the point of siege. Now they got us all on the quarantine. Ooh, what a horrid scene. My, 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 my corona. My, 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 my corona. Okay, that was very nice. Moshe, is Moshe Bird on the line? Moshe Bird, are you here? All right, I guess Moshe is going to come and get the clip afterwards, but everyone please let Moshe know how much we appreciated that. Our next performance 
there's going to be Moshe Shapiro on the theme of Moshe. We had Moshe Rabbeinu, then Moshe Bert, and now Moshe Shapiro. Um, so a Kohen and two Levim um, leading us off here with the Moshes. Is Moshe Shapiro, any Shapiros on the line? Yes, we are. Oh, the Shapiros are here. Okay, any comments from the Shapiro family before we start this? It's a real 10-foot basket. Okay, hold on. Let me let me, let me spotlight you. Hold on a minute. All right. Now, now they're claiming it's a real 10-foot basket we're about to see. We actually, we did some measuring beforehand. We had some corona safe measuring take place. So we're going to show that first, just so that everyone could be involved in this process to, you know, everyone could be a judge here. Here is the measuring. Does everyone see the video right now? Does everyone see this? Everyone sees Iron Shapiro? Yes. Okay, here we go. This is the, this is the, there's a, there's a big tape measure there. We're now going to measure the basket. Well, let's check that out. Zoom in there. Okay, that looks like 10 feet. How many centimeters is that? All right, so this is legitimate. We have a legitimate 10 foot basket. And now, we're going to see Moshe Shapiro in action. I think I want to see that one again. Okay, Mo Moshe, how tall are you? Oh, you're, you're, you're muted again. How, how tall is Moshe? Any, uh, you guys are muted, Shapiro family. Five, six. Five, six. That's a very <laughs> impressive jump. <laughs> That's a really impressive jump. Unbelievable. I am a lot taller than five, six. Well, I am taller than five, six. I cannot get nearly that high. Um, I know that Arya can't, but, um, but most people, you know, five, <laughs> five, six, do not have that ability. So, uh, you see that learning pays off. You, you learn Torah, you jump higher, you go higher in many, many ways. No one knew dunking was one of the ways. So amazing. All right. Our next act is coming in from the Resnick family. Are the Resnicks on the line? Any Resnicks? Yeah, yeah, we're here. We're still here. Okay, any comments on your act? This is true Avodah Hashem and Vikus. Wow. Okay, this is, this is actually a four-person orchestra that you guys put together there. A four-person Avodah Hashem. You want to say, introduce who, who are the four people involved in this? Four of the Hashem. <laughs> I'm saying the names, how everyone's related. Uh, son, favorite son-in-law, <laughs> favorite son, and favorite grandchildren. Hold him, hold him. Uh, well, yeah, mostly right. Yeah. Okay, mostly right. I heard a commentary, mostly right. Okay. Yeah, he said it's very right. Okay, here we go. Here we have four Resnick family dance. Yeah, son-in-law is with my son. Michal is Yoni's daughter and his granddaughter, and Gabriel is the son and grandson. All right, here we go. I'm going to get it up. Now everyone, are you ready? Are you ready to jump it up? Are you ready to party? We're going to start going soon. We're going to get this. Let's rock it. Woo. Okay. Abba, jump. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> in spirit. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I know the word is. Slow it, slow guys. Slow, slow. It's, it's more. It's, uh... Oh, oh, oh. Down, get broken. Garden, 
Gummy Drado, spin, spin, he's out, spin, Drado, spin, Newman Drado! Woo! Yeah. Okay, everyone see that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to suggest very important Surgeon General warning. You should not try that dreidel thing at home, right? Spinning the, you know, children as a dreidel, that, that, that could be dangerous. You need special training for that. Oh, I see Moshe Bird is on now. Moshe, will you hear from Yeah, your, yeah. Your okay, good. All right. Yes, to the Resnick extent. Can we clap after all the uh, acts? Right, you can unmute yourself for clapping, and then we move on, and then mute yourself again as we move on to the next Woo! act. Can, that I can do without alcohol. You can ask that. I did not drink before that. We believe you, actually. <laughs> okay, I appreciate you. <laughs> the, clapping, the clapping is for all the acts until now. Oh, oh. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, everyone can mute themselves again, except for David Stein. We'd like to bring on the Stein family. David, are you with us? I'm here. Okay, we're about to show you off a little bit. Not everyone knows your secret and hidden talents, and um, we're going to show it now. Everyone, brace yourselves. Here we go. We miss him. Hi, everybody. We miss everybody, and we just thought we would. I was going to share something on soprano saxophone with you. Um, this is supposed to be for soprano saxophone and piano, but I don't have a piano accompanist right now. Enjoy. Next act, we are up to Shui Lefkowitz. Are the Lefkowitzes here? Are the Lefkowitzes on the line? Yeah, we're here. Just a little camera shy, but the whole family's here. Okay, good. Any any comments from the Lefkowitz family? Yeah, Shui didn't know we sent this in, so he was he was real surprised now. <laughs> oh, okay. Shui, any comments from you? <laughs> He's shaking his head now. <laughs> okay, all right. So this is we want to thank. How long has Shui been training? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Yeah, wow. This is, new. This is wow. brand new. Brand new. All right. So everyone might want to stand back in case the whatever he's juggling comes flying at you through the screen. <laughs> Relatively new act um, that's happening. It's like a little splash zone. And uh, here we go. Bye. Wow. wow, that is very impressive for two weeks. That, that's like two years. Unbelievable. I'm going to show that one again. Nice. Wow. wow. Yeah. Way to go. God. Yeah, it's all, that's why I thought he did it. Okay, we are up to Abraham Glickstein. Are the Glicksteins here? <laughs> any Glicksteins on the line? We're here. I see his picture. Okay, any uh, comments before we begin? Abraham? He doesn't. Abraham did it kind of spur of the moment, uh, but he, yeah, he'd like to be in the distant baby for the time being. Okay, well, we want to thank Abraham very much for his bravery. And it looks like he got into full costume for this one. 
So we really appreciate it. Normally, magicians charge for their performances. So we want to also thank him for giving this, you know, on the house. We really appreciate, you know, the special, uh, special opportunity during uh, the Corona crisis. Here we go, Abraham Glickstein. <laughs> Presenting Abraham Glickstein, the magician. Sorry, Glickstein. I mean, that was good. It wasn't just magic, it was also a dance. I mean, this is this is really impressive. This is next level. So we really want to tell really you. Nice. Could you Thank remind you. everyone to mute their microphones, please? Yeah, we'd like to remind everyone to please mute their microphones unless you are the performer. So actually, Moshe Burt, you could leave yours on because you're about to be on for your next okay. act. But everyone else can mute now. We are up to Moshe Burt with a Rodney Dangerfield impression. Hi, everyone. I'm sure a lot of you will remember this voice. Hey, I'll tell you, no one getting no respect. No respect at all. Yeah, I was an ugly kid. I brought no joy. My old man said he wanted a boy. I was an only kid. I was all alone. Halloween, I trick or treat over the phone. Yeah, I'll tell you. Um, my car broke down. I called AAA. They left the car and told me away. Uh, I'll tell you, Dr. Vinny Gumbats. He's another one. I told him I had water on a knee. He gave me a sponge and raised his fee. Yeah, it ain't easy being me. I'll tell you, no respect. All right, Shkoff Moshe, the only one who did two entries. So very, very impressive. Way to go, Moshe. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we're going to ask everyone to pause again. And um, we're going to ask uh, Rob Myers if he wants to come back on. He's welcome to comment as we start um, his shmuppets. Any, any comments before we begin? Well, the, you see, uh, Rabbi Bricks, this wasn't intended to be submitted, but, by, but because there was some tremendous demand from the administration of the synagogue, including the Rav, that I submit this, I did. It ended up on the editing room floor of the five-part Schmuppets Pesach series, shameless plug for the series, available through me. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's my father bought me my first puppet when I was 10 years old, and, um, and I, 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 have a, I have a degree in political science, but I prefer this way of talking out of both sides of my mouth. 
<laughs> All right. A Moshe, a Burr reminder, everyone should mute themselves now. And here we go for the Shmuppas. This actually took place a couple weeks prior to Pesach, so don't get confused when they talk about Pesach is coming. Here we go. Smooch. Uh-huh. Smooch. Uh-huh. What do you mean, uh-huh? Oh, I hear you. You heard me? Yeah. Why did you have your head in your hand? Are you bored? Yeah, I'm bored. I got to stay in the house the whole time. Oh, this past week. Oh, yeah, it's really hard to be inside the house the whole time, to be inside Nigeria and or not the Chinish. Well, what's hard about it? I got nothing to do. Well, we can always learn Torah. Learn Torah, huh? I like learning Torah. You do? Yeah. Well, why don't we join those kids out there who are watching us right now and learn a little bit about Pesach. Pesach? Yeah. You know, the Chag. Oh, yeah. It's coming up in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. A couple of weeks from now, it's Pesach, and now is the perfect time to learn all about Pesach. Let's take a look at a part of the Haggadah, shall we? Sounds good. Hey, there's your picture of me. That's you, Smooch, in the middle of a bigger picture of Maror. Which Maror? Well, you yourself say in Hebrew, Hachayim b'mitzrayim hayu kashim. Ken, hachayim b'mitzrayim hayu kashim. And what does kashim mean? It means it was very, very hard. In Eretz Mitzrayim. Yeah, in the land of Egypt. What does it say underneath the picture of the people working and the maror? It says, Bani shlana halayla hazeh mikol halaylot. And what does that mean? Well, it means, how is this night different than all other nights? And the night we're talking about is Pesach. And if you look in the green, underneath that first line, it says, Shebechol halaylot anu ochlim sh'ar yirakot. On other nights, we eat other vegetables. That's right. Halayla hazeh kulo maror. Everything we taste is bitter. Now, why do you think the Haggadah is saying, tonight it's all maror? Well, because it says that the Jews were very, very hard on Mitzrayim. It was very, very bitter work. Yeah, by Yemaru et Chayem Avodah Kasha, they embittered their lives with very hard work. They did what is called Avodat Parech, backbreaking labor. Now, Spooch, what do you think made the labor, the work so hard? I don't know that I learned the Gemara. You learn Gemara? Of course I learn Gemara. I learn Torah all the time. Well, what does it say in the Gemara? The Gemara in Sota, in Sota, yeah, it says, what does it say? It says that they gave men women's work, and they gave women men's work. So men did women's work, and the women did men's work. What does that look like? Let's take a look. What do you see on the left-hand side of the picture? <laughs> I see that a woman is carrying lots of big sticks of wood. Yeah, she has wrapped around her back and tied onto her, with her hair covered there, lots of big logs and sticks. And what do you see on the right-hand side? I see a father and Abba doing dishes. Yeah, it says men washing dishes. Yeah, what's what's a little bit unusual about this picture? Well, abbas can wash dishes if they want to, and ladies can carry things if they want to. Well, yeah, that's true. Men can do dishes and women can carry large bundles of sticks. But what the Mitzrim did, Smooch, I'm listening, I'm listening. Yeah, listen carefully. Yeah. That the Mitzrim switched the jobs and gave most of the women's jobs to men and most of the men's jobs to women. We had to see where the ladies would have a hard time carrying all those logs. But it's not so hard to wash dishes. Why is it called Avodat Parach? Why is it called Avodat Parach? Let me explain to you. Smooch, it's called Avodat Parach because those jobs didn't really match those people. Everyone likes to have a responsibility that matches who they are. I understand, I understand. Good. You know, I asked you before, why is this night different from all other nights? Yeah, what did you ask me? All other nights, we eat other vegetables. Tonight, everything was bitter. And now I understand. Life in Egypt was very, very difficult for B'nai Israel.
Thank you very much, Ray Meyer. Yay. That was like a next level presentation there. All right, everyone still with me? Yeah. Okay. All right, this next one, we have another basketball presentation. This one is uh, Yehuda Bricks, Yehuda Mayor Bricks, right before his bar mitzvah. Yehuda, are you on with us now? Yeah, I'm on, I'm on. Any comments before we show your 12-year-old basketball skills? I'm a good basketball player. You're a good basketball player? Yeah. All right, well, how do you compare to Moshe Shapiro? Um, hey, I probably shoot better than him. You probably shoot better than him. Okay, I'm not going to ask Moshe for his response, but with, no one's measuring this basket, but you can see this is part of a new, a new, uh, the new, the new park. It is definitely a 10 foot esque basket. It would take probably five inches in either direction. <laughs> Might be taller. Um, you, you can turn off, you can make yourself head up. It's making a lot of noise. Thank you. All right, here we go. This is Yehuda Bricks right before his bar mitzvah shooting some hoops. Thank you, Yehuda. Um, he always says that. When he, when he does, when he does his uh, Yehuda. <laughs> All right. And we have one more act before we open it up to everyone else. This one is myself and my other son, Simcha, playing ping pong together in our backyard. Um, it's, it's not the greatest quality because it's a security camera, so it just captured whatever it captured, you know, in real time. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Simcha, Simcha, are you on? Is Simcha on the line? All right. I guess he's not here. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Look at those smart, smart. That's not at all. Whoa! Oh! together now it's just, it's just us and if anyone would like to volunteer I think we're going to start with Baruch Tannenbaum there he looks like he's anxious um, everyone else oh, oh you want everyone unmuted for this I'll, I'll explain the rules first and let me make you hold let me make you highlight you hold on a minute Lydia. 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 
which at oh 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 well, hold on we have, uh, before you go we have one more no problem one more video no, and Baruch should go first I want to hear Baruch I've been I've been excited about it since he mentioned it fine so Baruch will go first and then we're gonna find the the uh, yeah I was saving the best for last there with the Frankels okay so here's how it works I am going to say something and I want you everyone I'm first gonna explain the rules and then you unmute yourselves I'm gonna say something and uh and then you are going to repeat after me now it's sort of a contest and with your family if there's two if there's seven of you at home you can help each other so if i'm going to say something and it's going to be long then perhaps ruvain can remember the first sentence shimon can remember the second leia the third etc okay so basically it's very simple just repeat after me okay now you can all unmute yourselves and uh, we'll, we'll, when everyone's unmuted, will someone give me a signal? Tell you give me the signal, and I'll start. Yes, apparently it's going to sound funny. Well, well you, you could see if people are unmuted. You should be able to see next to their names. Okay, if unmuted so here we go. So repeat after me. One hen. One hen. One hen, two ducks. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters. One hen, two ducks, squawking geese, four limerick oysters. I see El Presidente has already given up. Let's continue. <laughs> One going. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises. One hand. One hand. One hand. One hand. One hand. Two 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 hand. Um, Come on, try it. Okay, you can do it. Five corpulent corpuses, six pairs of Don Alverso's tweezers. Very good, Mati. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pairs of Don Alverso's tweezers, 7,000 Macedonians marching in full battle array. One hen, two ducks, three smoking geese, oysters, five pairs of Don Abruzzo's tweezers, seven thousand, ten seven thousand Macedonians marching in full battle array. Okay, it gets easier. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four liver oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pairs of Don Alverso, 7,000 Macedonians marching in full battle array. Eight brass monks from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt. Can we just start with eight? Can we go back? No. Start from the beginning. That's the game. One the hand. audio in the middle of eight. Like, no one heard it. <laughs> eight. I'll say eight again. Eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt. One hand. One hand. Eight brass monkeys. Very good. You can help each other. Monkeys. Oh, gee. What do they do? From the ancient. Ancient sacred, 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 of Egypt. Yeah. Crypts of Egypt. Okay. One hen, two ducks, three squawking geese, four limerick oysters, five corpulent porpoises, six pairs of Don Alberto's tweezers, 7,000 Macedonians marching in full battle array. 7,000 Macedonians marching in full battle array. Eight brass monkeys from the ancient I got it. Yes. Nine apathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates. Nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic old men on roller skates with a market propensity towards patient and sloth. And what? from the in Dr. Google. Wait, market propensity towards what? Procrastination and sloth. Uh, what? Two ducks, 
fucking geese, four Limerick oysters, five 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 Limerick Okay. One and two decks, three strong knees, four in the recourses, five corbillion porpoises, six pairs of Donna versus Susan, seven thousand Macedonians marching in full battle array, eight brass monkeys from the ancient sacred crypts of Egypt, nine apathetic, sympathetic, diabetic, old men on roller skates with a market propensity for procrastination and sloth, ten spherical, lyrical, diabolical denizens of the deep hall swall at the quote cuisine at the very same time. Someone definitely Google this. I see a lot of people oh. muted themselves. <laughs> Where's Mati? Mati, you're doing good. I'm out, I'm out. Eight's as far as I go. My family, we got eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Okay, this was uh, for the trivia interest uh, people out there. This was a test for radio announcers back in 1960 or something somewhere. And How high up does it go? A very good um, B'nai Akiva game. Sure. How high up does it go? Ten. Till ten. Oh, you did it all. Okay. I didn't know that you. I would have had you for a piercing <laughs> reader. <laughs> all right. Before, before we get to the before before we get to the Frankel's Frankel video, uh, we did, we did a late submission. Um, and um, do the Cows family have anything they want to share with us about their submission? Yeah. See ya. See ya. Sorry you sent it in so late. <laughs> it's not like you haven't been asking me for a week. <laughs> so he, like, he just sent it in like three minutes ago. Uh, <laughs> we, we have very slow Wi-Fi here on the web. <laughs> I hear you. Okay. Let's, uh, let's uh, get the sharing back on for both these videos. And then again, if anyone else wants to an impromptu town, want to come back to the group in a minute. And we will do that. Here we go, Cow's family. So, while other people are gaining weight and getting out of shape, Avi and I have been uh, working on exercise during this uh, quarantine time. Avi has been training, increasing his endurance, and uh, training me also. I'm not getting as far as him. So I'm just going to show how to do a proper bench press. This is 60 kilo. We'll go for it. Get my Okay, Ashkoch. Avi Kalas is not only uh, Avi Kalas is not only a backup god by in the youth minion when it's, during non-corona times, but he also is a, our security guard and bouncer in the youth minion. So, Ashkoch, uh, Avi, really appreciate that. And now we're moving to the Frankels. The, I want to thank the Frankels by before we start. Hold on. I want to thank the Frankel family. They definitely are the MVPs in terms of submissions. Not only did they submit to the, to the what you're about to see, they also, I think, gave in two submissions for the women's production, um, which is about 50% of the submissions for the women's side. So uh, we really want to thank them. Anything that the Frankels want to say before we start? Uh, I, I like to say that I want to thank uh, Tully Briggs for putting this together, and not just this Cholomite, but for all past Cholomites and uh, so many of the other things he does. Thank you. Um, and we hope you enjoy our presentation. It was a family effort. Even the people that are not shown in the video were involved in the coaching and the choreography and the, and the videoing itself. And um, finally, if, uh, if you don't catch the words, we put them on the screen, but if anybody wants, I'll be happy to send them to uh, email or WhatsApp. Inspired by Mo Burke. <laughs> so everyone should please mute themselves. And while you're doing that, you want to point out, I just noticed that now the background, look at that, I love BTYA, I'm not sure if it's a t-shirt there in the back, 
but that is a, a very nice touch. Actually, it's from, um, it's one of the Shalach Manus packages from some time ago. And that idea was inspired because while we were quarantined in the kitchen, the family, when we were cooking for Pesach, so uh, we were dancing around and, um, and my wife said, I, I was looking really, doing a really weird dance, which got captured on video, unfortunately. And my wife was about to send it in as an entry. So uh, I compromised by telling her that we'll hang it up as background. Very good. All right, here we go, Frankel family. <laughs> You just gotta make sure that old can see. You walk on the floor, horses loving a mask. You think two meters is an easy task. Time to get copied down, we're clear. The trouble there, you can barely hear. Get the cars are honking and the curtain kids are calling. The biggest problem is that the rain is falling. Thank you so much, Franco family. Okay, the stage is open, the floor is open for any volunteers for an impromptu talent sharing. Maybe you, you like the calluses, your your internet was very slow and it was taking a while. You tried to upload something and it's been day after day after day. So uh, right before we close up here, anyone want to jump in with a final talent? Looking around, I see the assassins. They seem very quiet today. Um, Usher Resnick, you know, your other, the rest of your family did something. You did something yourself, perhaps. Matt Bornstein, very quiet in your house today. The Stengels, well, I know Mrs. Stengels submitted something for the woman, but you know, Mr. Stengel, we'd love to have you. The Arnolds are very talented family. The Frankels, the Baums, not just the Baums, the family Baum I see here. And anyone else want to jump in here? Kadars, the Kadars haven't submitted anything. Can we uh, put something, share something? Oh yeah, yeah, hold them in the meantime. Hey, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold okay, we're in. Um, all right, everyone else has to oh, mute themselves. Shit. Go ahead, Prince Baby. All right, you're uh, the ten R Rifki Tenenbaum? Rif yeah. All right, you look uh, very masculine. Yeah, it is. Ready for Corona. Did you see this one? Perfect. Yeah, we see oh. it. Yeah. Now it's still. Uh, That's not slow motion. It's not sure. Do you see now, Alaba? Yeah, we see you. We see you. Next one. Oh, yeah, just Okay. Okay, that was, um, done, done. my brother. So that was within 100 meters of your house. Excellent. Okay, anyone else have any uh, impromptu talents? All right, oh, here's Moshe. Oh, Birkat Gohanim. Uh, which one do I do? The first one or the second one? What do you mean? 
It's two attachments. Uh, right? One, no, one is just the picture, and the other uh, one is the. Uh, okay. And it's still uh, it's still scanning for viruses. You didn't send any coronavirus, did you? <laughs> My computer scans for everything. All right. While that's downloading, anyone else have a a talent? Uh, I have a forty-five minute chabura on on Yichel Bayes. Excellent. Okay, so. That's going to be happening in about five minutes. As soon as I log off, everyone is welcome to join the 45-minute Chabura. What, what's it on again? I can send you questions on the subject afterward. <laughs> Do I have to submit answers also? Okay. Oh, yes. I can do my Pesach poem, although some of you might have heard it last huh. I, I, Moshe, for some reason, I'm not, I'm not able to access your... Uh, your file there. Why not? I, I don't know. Um, all right, Baruch, you want to go with the poem for us? Do it long. Sure. With apologies to Major Henry Livingstone, Jr. It was the night before Pesach and all through the vice. Not a crumb could be found, not even a kazais. The children tucked away so snugly in bed with visions of Afikoman dancing in their head. With Badika they found chametz, the fire they lighted. Nullification complete. Children, no the Seder they studied from Kadesh to Nirza, the wine that they longed for, Harosid and Matzah. In Manishtana, it is asked why twice things are dipped, for it is all a reminder of leaving Egypt. On Kadesh, on Nurchatz, on Karpas, on Yachatz, on Kab, Magid, on Rachatz, on Motz, on The great meal is then started with Safun. It concludes, we continue the Seder with Barech and Halel, as we are required to give Shevach Lakel. The evening is quite special. Le by a Kadosh Baruch Hu. But alas, it's not over. We don't end the Sadeir, for we know Chazal has praised. Koham Arbe Lisaper. Amazing Ashikoa. And really, I want to thank everyone for participating today. Um, this was really an amazing group effort. Could not have been done without all of you. And the Blean Edder, we're going to send out a video link of everything that happened here today, so you could watch it and enjoy it multiple times at your leisure. And there will be a separate link, a password protected link for the women's presentation for all four, actually I think it's five now, all five of those uh, video clips. Um, I've heard the quality is very good though, probably surpasses our quality, but still nothing surpasses the quality of Ki'ishachad, Belevachad, of all of us coming together as one, as one based feel of family, your family to our family, all of us together as one, and Amit Hashem, the schus of us constantly looking to grow together, to learn together, to be together, we really should bring the Mashiach from Hera of the Amen. 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 Thank you all so much. Wishing you a good Moed and a good Yantiv. Okay, I'm signing off. Thanks again, everyone.